The SPY is down, the SP and the Y downtown to Chinatown today off $5.60, 1.36% in the red. S&P 500 down 54 points, Dow Jones down 308, NASDAQ down 190, Russell 2000 down 38, and oil is also down. So we're red across the board right there. Could be an opportunity to close some existing call credit spreads on the SPY. So let's go over to the big board and see what's up. First one is five credit spreads, call credit spreads, 424 slash 430 expires May 4th. We are 70, nearly 71% in the profit plus 170. So I don't have any issue closing that. Have to go at the full boat, I'm sure, to get it closed. There's five contracts at $75 to buy that closed. So let's see, there is four out of five, five out of five. So that is $75. And we collected how much when we made that trade? 240. So very nice. And that was just five days ago. Okay, so on April 20th, 424, 430. Let's go to the SPY spreadsheet. So today is the 25th, is that correct? So 425, buy to close. And it was this 424, 430 right there. So 424, 430, five contracts. It was projected to close on May 4th. We just paid, what did we pay? <laughs> What did we pay? We paid 75 bucks. We paid $75 to close that. Okay, so minus $75 bills. Let's put those both in red just so that we can visually begin to understand the spreadsheet. We released how much collateral? Well, we should be able to just do the math. That's six wide, 600 times five, that's $3,000. So minus $3,000 on the collateral side. Now we can do the math both on the actual return because when we put the trade on right here, it was a all in, it was an 8 percenter. So that will be, what's that number gonna change to? It's gonna be lower than eight, but then we'll annualize it and see how we do compared to these other trades. So, it was 3,000 collateral. We collected 240, right? 240 minus, not divide, minus 75 equals a 165 net on the three grand. Okay, so our return is 5.5%, 5.5. Now we go back to the annualized board because it was put on on April 20th and we took it off five days later. So we divide that number by five, and then we multiply it by 365, and we end up at 401, 401% annualized return. And that would be, I'm trying to put another little column here just for my own purposes, trade number. And that trade number is seven, so this is seven. So we can match those, put them both in green. I haven't gone through the whole thing yet to do so. Just again, and I don't even know if green is going to work for me. I am I'm a little bit colorblind and a little bit rock and roll. So I will come up with a probably a different color than green. Because <laughs> I could I could you even tell the difference between the greens and the blacks? I can a little bit, but I might have to go with a red or something. I didn't want to do red, you know, because red in finance typically means losing dollar bills and we're gaining them on closing these trades out. Okay, so that's one ringy-dingy for the day. What else do we have up here that could possibly be closed? Could possibly be closed. Let's see here, back to the board, looking for those SPY spreads. So we'll need to leave our, our sole put credit spread that we've done on the new 14 days to expiration trades is currently taking gas because SPY is 
under pressure. Now it's dipped under 406. So down nearly, it's down nearly 6% today. So that we have to leave this credit spread on. We still have time. Because time can do so much. I know we have more on here. Here we go. We've got a, we've got this 430 slash 435 expiring on the 12th. So that's still a long ways out, but it is already 56% into the profit. And we collected what on that? We put the trade on, we collected 230. And it would cost us 110 to remove ourselves. What was that spread again? 430. We're going to leave that one on. What do you say? I say that's a good idea. We'll leave that one on. Mm -hmm. There should be one more. There it is. It is the 427 slash 432 May 19th. We'll go ahead and leave that one on as well. But again, two things I'm looking for just eyeball test on these is plus 100 or more. Because I'm in my mind, I'm thinking if I could collect $100 a day net, okay, net, net. So whenever we take gas on one, that'll have to be factored in. Currently, we're undefeated <sighs> or 50% plus. I'm looking at those two numbers just like quick eyeball test. So that passes one, fails the other. It doesn't necessarily need both. It's just almost a, what, how am I feeling? You feeling froggy? You want to jump? <laughs> this one pass, passes both tests, but 430 is the number. And currently SPY is at 407. So I think we'll let that run run just a little bit more. And hopefully collect some more dollar bills because we're down big time today. We need some more dollar bills. If we look at our portfolio now, again, it's hard not to because this is what we're all trained to look at is just the total dollar bills. But what we know about money rule number one, wait, that's money rule number two. Yeah, money rule number two, cash flow is king. Cash is queen and debt is the, <laughs> it's the joker. But we're down about 10 grand today. But we're up, aren't we? We're up on actual dollar bills that we're stuffing into our pockets. So I got that going for me. 107 p.m. on Tuesday. So there's just under two hours to go in the trading day. We still will be looking to an end of the day trade on the SPY 14 days to expiration. Currently looking at We'll see. Again, I've said this every day and it seems to come true every day. And that has been that the SPY has gone green at the end of the days, almost every day. Another little thing to look at just for fun is, so I mentioned this in a video, I think it was on Sunday. I was reading about a SPY trading theory. It's more based on scalping, buying and selling, buying and selling, day trading, which I'm not currently i currently have zero point zero interest in but this green line represents a 13 day moving average the purple line represents a 48 day moving average and below it we have the rsi indicator which when it's high typically means that the stock is overbought and then when it's low you know, and I've got it set to 30 and I think 70, no, 65, 30 and 65 as the indicators range. And when it's on the low side of this, typically means it's oversold and then it might be going up again soon. But the theory states that when these two lines cross, when the green crosses above the purple, the 13 day goes above the 48 day, then that's when you buy. And then when it gets overbought, you sell and you just scalp all day, which I'm not interested in, <laughs> but somebody might be because I've looked at this for the past two days and it has, it basically has worked every time if you were to do so in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out. Now it can go a long time without crossing like it's done because it has had a rough ride here the past couple of hours. So just another little food for the thoughts. Subscribe, like, comment, share. See you in the next video.